morning, Father Larry Swain. And Father Bob Kilner. So this week in the sixth Sunday of Ordinary Time, our blessed Lord gives us this gospel where he gives us what's called the Christian ethos, this morality, which is a new life in Christ. And when you're reading this text, it just seems like he's making life more difficult. But actually what he's given us is freedom because he's di- he will die on the cross and rise from the dead for us. And we receive that as Christians, namely through the sacraments. And um, so we're going to show a little clip from Braveheart where uh, William Wallace wakes up and his father gives him a little advice. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord cause his light to shine on thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Your heart is free. Have the courage to follow it. What are they doing? Saying goodbye in their own way. Playing outlawed tunes on outlawed pipes. Great scene. It's this moment that changes young William Wallace's life. He finally has freedom to go forward and do what he ought to do. Now, our Lord is calling us to do something great. And something that sounds very difficult. What does he say? You have heard that it was said, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. Our Lord calls us to something great. And not only does he call us to something great, but he gives us the ability, the grace, right, through his grace, to do these great things. It's a high calling, but he always gives us the grace. Can you tell us a little bit about the freedom that that it means to be a Christian and to live in this way, Father? Sure. You know, I think in order to get that freedom, Father Bob, is first we have to realize what's really going on in our hearts and our minds and examining our thoughts and not just looking at our actions. And I think the the nightly examination of conscience is a great way of doing that at the end of the night. And we just say, Lord, what was really going on in my heart? Obviously, freedom comes from the sacrament of reconciliation. We take responsibility, not just for our actions, but even going deeper. Why am I doing this? And getting that grace from God to and that but also I think just the grace from going to Holy Communion hmm. changes our hearts to become like Christ. Amen.